Well, hello and boom shakalaka. You know, a question I get asked a lot when I'm teaching a live Excel class, is there a way to show in a date field when something is either expired or past due, uh, where something is becoming getting close to an expiration date or a due date, or when something is uh, comfortably not even close uh, to being expired or due. So there is a great way to use a feature in Excel called conditional formatting to do that for you. And I just wanted to show you two quick ways to do it here in Excel. So what I have is I have two columns here, just labeled one expiration date and another one due date, but they're the exact same dates. And the parameters I'd like to set up are that if today um, is the expiration date is expired, uh, that is earlier than today, then I want to um, initially shade the uh, expiration date field with a red. If it's within 30 days of expiring, I want to shade it with a yellow. And if it's beyond 30 days, or if the expiration date is 30 days or longer in the future, I just want to go ahead and shade that with green. So we're going to do that first. So I'm going to highlight this group of cells here. Now we could highlight an entire column uh, so that you wouldn't have to do this or expand the range whenever you needed to do it. But I'm just going to stick with doing these three cells right here. So I'll go ahead and highlight those. I'll go up to the conditional formatting button. And I'm going to drop down here to highlight cell rules. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the less than condition for my first condition. So I want to say that I want to format cells that are less than equals today left paren right paren and I'm going to highlight those as being expired so I'm going to use light red fill and dark red text so that condition is done now we need to do our yellow condition so with the same range we're going to go layer in a second condition we're going to go to highlight cell rules and we're going to do the between condition we want to format cells that are between equals today and the upper parameter is going to be equals today plus 30. We're going to highlight those cells as yellow fill and dark yellow text. So those would be the ones that are within 30 days of expiring. And finally, we're going to go to conditional formatting and we're going to pick a greater than condition. And we're going to say we want to format cells that are greater than equals today plus 30 with green fill and dark green text. And so there you have it. Now anything that's expired, that is where the expiration date is before today, then it, uh, it shows up in red. If it's between today and 30 days out, it's yellow. And if it's beyond 30 days out, it's green. Now the cool thing about this is because we have the today function built into the conditional format, this will adjust to uh, whatever day it happens to be relative to your expiration date. So you don't have to put a, put a fixed date in there. Uh, the today function will always incorporate today's date according to your computer into that. Now I think a more elegant way to do this is to use a conditional formatting feature called icon sets. Let's do the same thing, but let's do it with icon sets uh, right here in this range. So if we go up to conditional formatting, and we'll drop down here to icon sets, and we'll pick this green, yellow, red icon set right here. Now, what we'll do is, having put the icon set, it's not what we need yet. We need to uh, adjust it. So we're going to go into conditional formatting with this range highlighted, and we're going to drop down here to where it says manage rules. The only rule we have in place for that particular set of cells is icon set rule. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click edit. Now right over here, this is the typical boilerplate, which really has no application of what we're trying to do here with icon set. So we're immediately going to change the parameters to formula based parameters for both of these conditions. Now with a three icon set rule, all you have to do is set two of the parameters and the third one is implied. So the green parameter is going to be equals today plus 30. 
and then the bottom parameter is going to simply be equals today and let me interpret that for you so what that will say is the yellow condition will be anything between today and today plus 30 and the red condition will be anything less than today so you don't have to create that third parameter it's implied by putting those two parameters in there so here's how you do it with icon sets then check it out i'm going to go ahead and click ok and then ok and here you go so you decide which one you like better this is the uh, traditional way of doing conditional formatting with shell uh, with cell shading and fill and that kind of thing and this is the icon driven way so there you go uh, play this over try it you can put it in an entire uh, column where you have dates where you want to uh, have your attention focused on dates uh, particular items that may have been expired or getting close to expiration this can be used in project planning it can be used when you have uh, different types of things that uh, in the food services industry where you want to be tracking expiration dates in all sorts of places now if you have any questions at all about this please feel free to give me a call or contact me once again if you have any questions at all let me know so I wanted to share this with you. I get with, with you. I get this question all the time, and I'm finally putting out a tip that gives you an easy way to track expiration dates and due dates. Boom shakalaka.